Hey coach, welcome back to the channel. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with all the content that we are currently putting out on a daily basis. At this point, we've got videos going out every 24 hours so that you don't get stuck with your business and so that you can use the strategies that our success coaches are putting out there and you can implement them into your business to help you grow and scale. Now, if you get to the end of this video and there's something that you would like to discuss with me about, about any of the three points I'm about to share with you today, then you can do that. And the best way to do that is in the description of this video, there's going to be a Calendly link where you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me. Or if you prefer just to send me an email with any questions that you might have, you can do that as well. Uh, visit the Calendly link in, in the description, sorry, visit the description in the, the below this video and there will be my email address there. I believe it's makemoneycoachingsports at gmail.com. Okay, so welcome back to this new video. And today I want to talk about how to win big with your soccer coaching business. Now, if this is the first time you're coming across one of our, our videos, right? My name is Leonardo. I am the sales director here at Make Money Coaching Sports. I've been working with Ben for quite a long time now. And also, apart from what I do with Make Money Coaching Sports, I do have my own uh, soccer coaching business. And I am the academy manager at a one of the biggest currently private soccer academies in the UK. So I'm based here in, in the UK, in London specifically. And I help coaches in soccer who are looking to start their business, looking to grow, looking to scale, okay? And every single day I'm speaking to, to coaches in our sport, right? In football, in soccer, that want to get to that next level. So I've got a lot of experience in terms of coaching on the field. I've also got a lot of experience with business development. So helping coaches to grow, to scale, uh, to implement uh, different different systems within their business that can help them to become stronger, uh, to help the business to become stronger and ultimately uh, win big with, with the clients that they are working with. So I want to share with you three things today that I know will help you. So make sure you, you, you make notes of them, right? So get a pen and paper out because I'm going to go into a little bit more detail about what the three points are, okay? So the first one I've got is provide more value than your competitors. Now, to win big in this industry, in this very competitive industry where every single day there's more and more private coaches out there, you have to add a lot of value, right? So something that I remember when I first started my own coaching business is the first thing I did is I sat down and I made notes about how what are the what are my competitors doing currently? What are they offering? And what can I offer that will make me different to everyone else? So at the time, something I noticed was my competitors were all offering pretty much the same thing. Okay, so I needed to think, right, do I want to compete or do I want to dominate, right? Now, I wanted to dominate, which meant that I needed to provide a lot more value. And, I, and there was a few ways I did that. And when I did, it start, I started to separate myself from everyone else in what I was doing, Okay. So when you provide more value than your competitors, what happens is you, your business starts to grow. It starts to, you start to win because clients ultimately are going to stay with you for longer. Now, in my private coaching business, I've had clients that are currently with me that have been with me for almost five years now. Okay, I'm going to be completely honest with you and transparent. That is not normal, right? Clients don't tend to stick around 
for more than a year, right? Most of them will stay a year and then they'll go and find some somewhere else for their child. So if you can hold on and retain clients for longer than one year, then ultimately you're doing something really well within your business. They either like you as a coach or they like the environment or what you provide, what your business provides. Okay. So what I've had to do with my business is I just keep providing more value, more value, more value, whether that be a higher quality training session, whether that be engaging more with my players, whether that be making sure I bring in like-minded clients so that I build a really nice environment for, for players to want to come back and train together and play. Okay. So all of those things I thought about in my head. And when I started to implement them, I noticed that parents were staying longer with me than my competitors. Okay. So second one is you have to learn how to sell and market your business. Right. When I first started, I had no idea about sales. And I know I had no idea about how to market my business. So something I needed to learn is how to talk to parents, how to schedule an, a, an appointment or schedule a call with parents, how to ask really good specific questions to parents over, over the phone, how to close parents into my program, uh, how to run an evaluation session, right? How to, how to set up a referral program where I get on a phone call, sell parents on how well their child is doing and then market them to the point where they are referring like-minded uh, parents to me, right? So it's all a sales and marketing process. And these are things that I slowly, with time, I invested in a mentor. I learned everything I could and my what I noticed is my business started to grow and it started to become really strong to the point where, as I mentioned, like I was adding more clients every week and I was keeping the ones I had. And that's what we want to do, right? We don't want to lose clients. We want to keep the ones we have and we want to continue to add and grow and expand. Okay. But you have to learn how to market. You have to learn how to sell your business. So if you're using social media, you have to learn how to market your business through social media in order to get engagement from parents. OK, so how can we get a viewer to take action, apply for your program and then close them into into your business? OK, so it's all sales and marketing. And once you master that, you're, you're going to start to win big with your soccer coaching business. Now, the third thing is remember it's a numbers game. Okay, most coaches forget about this, right? But ultimately, business is a numbers game. The more parents you're talking to on a regular basis, the more parents you're going to close into your program. Okay, you've just got to keep talking to parents, keep marketing, keep selling yourself. And ultimately, you'll start to get um, clients into your program, okay? So something I did at the start of my business is I made it a mission to speak to at least three to five parents per day about what I did, okay? So I was DMing parents. I was taking evening walks out in my local area. And when I came across a parent with a child, I'll stop them. I'd introduce myself. I'll speak to them about what we're doing. I'll give them a, I would give them a flyer. Um, I would lo visit local clubs to try and offer my services to run a clinic or a camp for them, right? I was finding different ways I could, okay? I was also running uh, Facebook ads. So I, I, found different ways I could in order to get in front of player, players, parents, and ultimately get more people to know what I did. Okay, so I had to get out of obscurity in order to, to grow and to, and to win in business, right? So ultimately, the coach that remembers that, the coach that speaks to parents on a regular basis, 
a coach that remembers that it's a numbers game will ultimately win long term. OK, because that's what it is. The more people you can touch per day with either so through social media posts, through DMs, through face to face, through email, through text. Right. However, you're reaching out to prospects. The coach that does the most will win long term. OK, that's something we do currently at our company here at Make Money Coaching Sports. I think we're very good at it. We're very consistent about the amount of coaches we reach out on a regular basis. So that ultimately helps us long term because it gets us results, right? It gets us, it gets coaches knowing what we offer, what we do. And what it does is it helps us to help coaches with their business. Okay. Because if coaches know what we do, what we offer, what, what a fantastic program we have then ultimately they're going to want to do business with us. And not only does our business grow, but they're going to get the help and their business will grow as well. Okay. So hopefully this video helps you, right? If you need more help on any of these three things, love to jump on a free 15 to 20 minute call with you. You can do that by reaching out to me in the description of this video you can book a free 15 to 20 minute call with me when you want. Okay. My available time slots are there. Or if you just want to send me uh, an email, an email with questions, you can do that as well to make money coaching sports at gmail.com. Okay. Thank you for watching. And again, make sure you subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content.